Hey guys, Jeff Brower here. If you're watching this video, you're probably gonna be using my box truck and I may not be there to give you instruction in person. So I'm gonna make this video real quick to give you some instruction on the truck. I just got this truck in the summer of 2023. It's my baby. So if you're gonna drive it, please be careful. I have some forms that you have to fill out. I'm just gonna give you a quick instruction on that. There are two forms that you need to fill out and there are carbon copies behind it. So the first form here, you wanna write kind of hard and make sure that the back is folded down in front of the, the copies. So at the top, you need to write all your information down there. Um, make sure to, that you send me a picture of your insurance card. Whoever's gonna be driving, I need their insurance. So that also needs to go at the bottom here. So you need to have your insurance carrier, the carrier phone number and the policy number. And that needs to go at the bottom here. You need to sign the bottom. You also need to put the odometer in and out. So that's right here, odometer in, odometer out for however many miles are showing on the odometer when you pick it up and when you put it back. However much gas is in there, I usually try to keep it full. So um, if it's full, please fill it back up. If you can't, just let me know and I'll try to work it out. Um, but you know, if there's say three quarters, then you know, please put it back to three quarters, uh, whatever you can do there. So I'm not gonna, you know, this this truck's for clients and, and friends and family and, and couple other people so i'm not going to nickel and dime you it's not like i'm you know going to charge you for gas if you don't leave you know the exact same amount in there but fill this out to the best of your ability with everything you can the second form is the safety qualification record this is just stating that i went over this with you now i signed this as well at the bottom but this is just kind of going over a um you know the condition of the vehicle when you pick the truck up, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Make sure there's no like major dents, scratches, anything like that. Last time someone picked it up, they kind of they kind of nicked something, and I don't actually. I had three people use it before I was able to see it between there, so I wasn't able to pinpoint who actually ex did it. But if you do even have any of the small, like a, if you scratch something, please just let me know. Um, you know, it's if it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal. Uh, but you know, check everything out. Make sure everything's kind of clean. You know, please don't bring it back super dirty. I had actually one um, girl drive through the mud and caked up the dually wheels. There was actually mud caked up in between the wheels and it took me uh, about an hour at the car wash and about $20 worth of quarters just to knock that mud out of there. So please return it back clean if it is clean when you pick it up. Everything else on here is pretty self-explanatory. It just talks about operating the vehicle. Don't run through any drive-throughs. This thing is tall, 10 foot six. So don't take it through the ATM. Don't take it through a you know, a, a drive through, um, just be wary, you know, make wide turns. It's uh, it's pretty easy to drive, but it is bigger than your normal car. So if you're not used to driving something like this, please just ex exercise extreme caution. Uh, let's see, uh, there is a hitch on the back, but that is not um, available to anybody just because my insurance does not cover that uh, for people that are renting the truck from me. So just make sure, um, one thing to note, inside the cab here, there is a backup camera because you can't see back through the cab. So when you get in here, when you put it in reverse, it automatically comes on this camera. But if you're driving in forward, hit the button in the very center and it'll turn the rear view mirror on all the time. And that's usually what I do, how I drive it. So what else here? Um, I do have um, a hand truck, furniture pads in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the back with you guys. So the ramp is stored inside the door. It's got the latch mechanism. If you pick this thing up, I'm gonna have a lock box on here. I'm gonna give you the code. The key is gonna be in there, but the lock box actually keeps the, um, the back door locked as well. So it'll be through here. Just put in the code, get the key out. But let's just slide open here. Let's see, roll up door. So I do have the dolly here. It's gonna be there for you. Moving blankets. There's probably um, a ratchet strap or two, but you might need to grab some straps. I don't think I have any here in here at the moment. The ramp pulls out. So this just flips down here and the ramp pulls on out. And um, once the ramps comes out, you actually have to lift the front up and pop it onto these tabs. So when the ramp is all the way out, pop the two tabs on here to lock it into place and vice versa. When you're done, slide it back in all the way forward until it latches and then the door actually comes down over it. That way nobody can steal the ramp and for safety, it won't fly out when we're running down the road here. So up in here, there is a light switch for lights. <clears throat> if you need to attach some ratchet straps, that's what these are for on the side here. I do have a little tool bag in there if you need anything, small wrenches or whatever. 
But uh, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. There's, there's moving blankets in here. Nice step up, pretty low. And let's see, oh, one more thing. Um, if you don't have the, the latch all the way open, sometimes it'll this door will open and the latch will get stuck up there because it wasn't latched open by itself. So if that's the case, which it's not now, but you might need to sneak your fingers up in there and move this latch. Just uh, one little thing to mention. Other than that, it's only got 3,000 miles on it right now. It's pretty much brand new. So um, just do your best to be careful. This is my uh, my one business vehicle. My This is my baby. So it does take regular gas. So if you have to fill it up, it's regular unleaded, the cheap stuff. And this is a little bit tricky. So if you have to put the gas cap back on, just be very careful and make sure it's on there and then it clicks. I've had a few instances already where people don't get it tight and then the check engine light comes on because the EVAP system recognizes that there's a leak. So just try to do your best there. But anyways, um, it's out there available for you guys' use. And I uh, appreciate, you know, if you're watching this video, then, you know, either you're a client of mine or, you know, you're military or uh, in the um, police force. So uh, thank you very much, everybody. If you're a client, thank you so much. Everyone else, also thank you so much. I think that's that about covers it. And like I um, I said, I do have some blankets over here. Um, a little Walmart throws in case you see someone homeless out there or uh, someone asking for money or is cold. Uh, feel free to throw those blankets out to them. I've got a stack of them in the back. And then on that note, I also have a grocery bag down here at the bottom. And there's like some food and stuff like that in there. I mean, if you're hungry, by all means, uh, I've got some water bottles. But that stuff is also out there for folks that, you know, if you see people on the side of the road that are hungry or, you know, asking for money, um, you know, feel free to hand that stuff out. There's some forks down there too. So if you're hungry, you're welcome to have that. It's mostly tuna packets and, you know, just little to-go meals. But I wanted to put something in there like that just because, you know, we can, you know, we're, I'm fortunate, you know, we're, we're all pretty fortunate to have shelter and some people don't. So um, anyways, I appreciate you guys. If you have any questions before you take the truck, please message me. And like I said, please text me a picture of your insurance card. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.